in a world filled with doom and gloom when it comes to blogging, I'm going to be a shining light in the darkness because my blog is doing really, really well. Now, I do just want to say all of my blogs, I've got like five blogs, right? And four are doing terribly. And that is because four rely on Google traffic. One does not. And guess what? That was doing really well. <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? Well, there we go. I want to give you another update on how my blog's going, what I'm doing to change with the moving times as, you know, I am encountering a few copycats, a few people who are trying to do what I'm doing and how I'm circumnavigating and going around them, stopping them from being able to basically take everything I do and what's making me unique. So I'm going to update you with everything and how my site's going and the challenges, everything like that. So let's dive in to this video. So this is my site, as you've seen before, this is GamingHero.io and this is my main website that I work on. A lot of people won't show their main website, uh, but I'm going to show it because ultimately this is something I love doing and it's going to be really difficult for someone to replicate what I am doing. It is possible, but it's super, super difficult, especially if you've not got the knowledge that I do about this particular game, which is what the website is all about. It's about making gold in World of Warcraft. Now. This whole business practice is possible to take to future games. And that's something I actually really, really want to do is take this whole business practice into future games. But right now I'm focused on getting it right here. And then we're going to expand into those other games one day in the future. For now, I'm really happy with what I'm doing. And basically this website, I've been making a few changes here and there. I changed some of the language. For example, this set used to say community guides and now it's just free guides. And the reason for that is I kept getting feedback saying, where are the free guides on the website? And it used to say community guides and you scroll over and it say free guides. Instead, I just changed community guides to free guides and people are finding that language just a little bit better. It seems like a really silly thing to be concerned about, but hey ho, there we go. It worked well. Then a second bit of feedback I got was the log out, log in button was really annoying because it only ever said log in even when you were logged in. So I got that changed and I basically, um, got a plugin that would basically change it depending on if you were logged in um, and then it goes to log out if you are logged in. This is just good because it shows members when they log into the site that they were actually logged in and then one that once they're logged in they can actually check on the members guide like so and they can see all the various member guides. Then a new thing we started to get was members wanted to be able to search our guides because we have 250 guides right now and we're getting more and more every week like three or four a week so they're like you know we really want to get you know, more more ability to actually look at, at what you've got here. Then we started to get this issue of when we were scrolling, we were like, well, um, it's really hard to get all the way to the top, especially when you're here. So I basically got the developer who is basically helping us with Gaming Hero to help create this button here, which gets us straight to the top, just like that, super quick and super easy. And it's really, really cool. And we have that on every single page of the website, no matter where you are, we can go straight to the top, just like so. Then we had one more change, which is a really awesome change, actually. And this this change, let me just start from the beginning with this. We basically had a writers meeting where we got all the writers together and we said, well, what can we do to improve this website? How can we grow so we can get more members? How can we give more value to the members? How can we grow so we can get more creators on board sharing the website? What can we do to in improve this business one of the main things we got was we'd like to have live prices and live information from the game on our website so i basically got in touch with the developer and we now have live prices on the website so for example this item right here it pops up it shows where you can get the item shows everything like that but now we've also got the live prices that actually are taken directly from the game without any manual input data by us and are put straight into the website, which is just a really nice little detail, as you can see, like so. And it just looks really, really good when you've got like a professional pricing. Not only that, but we also got the developer to help us out with creating a gold per hour, uh, which is basically allows us to tell our members really quickly and easily if this guide is actually worth their time or not. Um, depending on how much their time is worth, they can decide, you know, do I want to do this for 38,000 gold an hour or do I want to do something else? It just gives them a little bit more flexibility in that regard. So now we've got a huge amount of work where we're going through all of the guides and we're updating them to basically have all of these updated prices and everything like that. And it's quite a lot of work because it does involve some basic coding, but because we've got the integrational and the tool all built, uh, it's really like easy at that point. Once you've done it, it's done forever. So that's the, the really cool thing about this whole tool. 
Now, this is something that no other competitor actually has built into the website. We have this, but no one else does. And what we were facing on Gaming Hero were a few copycats in the same industry, like World of Warcraft and gold making, things like that. They were trying to create sites that would imitate what we do on Gaming Hero, but they don't have the same tools that we have now. Because we've got these, these unique tools, we are a step of the head. We, because we've got these unique tools, we're a step of the head of the competition and that really stands out and people just want to be a little bit more like us and they, they want to basically subscribe, become members, things like that. Then I want to talk about something we have or may have in the future. In the future, we're trying to figure out what tools can we basically develop and create for our website that makes us stand out as a really real leader in the industry of you know, World of Warcraft, gold making, things like that, pet collecting, mount collecting, all those wonderful things. So we are creating actively tools that will help our audience uh, basically achieve what they want to in game even easier, just using the game data. And that's really, really helping us stay ahead of the competition. And it's also encouraging more people to become members of our website. But of course, how is the website going? Well, we're sticking at about 150 members, which is okay. They are all paying nine pounds per month. I think I really need to spend during this next month, probably a little bit of work redoing this page here. I think I need to add a video here rather than having just a picture of a goblin with loads of gold. I think I want to add a video in just displaying some of our really cool gold guides and maybe uh, talking about the membership and what's involved and everything like that. I think it might encourage more people to sign up and become members. And then uh, I might actually display a few guides here and things like that. That will encourage people to sign up as well. As uh, I really like this this whole sales page, but it probably does need just a little bit more. Now, one thing that the writers brought up to me was it would be cool if our affiliates, which we've got an affiliate program just here, people sign up, they can basically make 30% um, on any membership that they get. This helps us with traffic. It gets us more traffic, but it also means that they get 30% and that's like a 30% marketing cost for the website. Now, one thing we're trying to do is figure out ways we can encourage creators to come aboard. So one thing um, that we notice is a lot of creators out there um, have link trees, right? For example, this is Farrell Williams link tree, and he's got like loads and loads of links and stuff like that. And he'll put something like this link tree on his Instagram. And then instead of having like loads of links, he just has one link that leads to all the other links. So we thought, well, we could do something similar on Gaming Hero and then any potential visitors of Gaming Hero could basically um, see the particular creator's link tree and then they could check out some of their potential links. And here are some of the, the various links that we've actually had added to the website, which is really, really cool. These were directly coded using, I believe, HTML. So we're really, really happy with those. And we're just going to do that now. We're going to spend a little bit of time this month uh, by making sure every affiliate and creator on the website has their very own link tree built directly into Gaming Hero. And what this will encourage is more people to check out our guides when they go and check out the various link trees for the creators. It's just an extra passive way to market the website, but also give our creators some value as well, which is completely free. They don't have to pay for this. It's, uh, it's completely on us, but we get a little bit of marketing at the same time. So it's a winner, winner, chicken dinner for everyone. Apart from that, I'm just trying to come up with basically more strategies to encourage more people to check out the website. One thing I really want to expand on is more free guides, not just member guides, because we add loads of member guides, but we're trying to add more free guides as well so that we can encourage people and say, hey, check out the free guides. Once they see the free guides, they see how good they are. They're like, oh, wow, let me check out the member guides. These are so good. And then they, they stop by and check out the member guides as well. But uh, that's that's a working development. We, it's going to be difficult for us to do, but we just keep working and we'll get there eventually. In terms of affiliate stats, as you can see, it does get us a fair bit of traffic just from affiliates. Uh, it doesn't generate a huge amount of revenue quite yet. But then again, I think the problem we're facing with affiliates at the moment is a lot of them aren't experienced in uh, any type of sales or any type of affiliate marketing or anything like that they're completely new to it and that's no no hate on them at all they're gamers right they aren't necessarily experienced in affiliate marketing but if they do really really well they could be making a lot of money because this is a repeat affiliate commission scheme so if they get one member and that member stays for 12 months they will get 12 months worth of affiliate commissions just for that one member 
if they get one member who pays upfront for one year subscription, they will get a nice hefty sum of affiliate commission as well. So it really does benefit them. And this shows that they are trying, but it definitely does also show that they aren't exactly converting very well yet. But hopefully in due course, as um, you know, we spend a bit more time helping the affiliates learn, you know, how to affiliate market, how to sell the products and not really sell it because Gaming Hero doesn't really like the membership doesn't really need to be sold. It more so just needs to be it more so needs to be shown. Uh, this is how to, you know, do this gold farm. If you want to check out the if you want to check out the written version of this gold farm, check out Gaming Hero links in the description. That's all they need to say. In fact, people who oversell and say, oh, you've got to subscribe to Game Hero. It's nine pound per month. Do it now. You're going to love it. Those people piss their audience off. Their audience get really, really annoyed at them and they don't like being sold to. It's a lot better to do it in a passive way where we just mention it and we aren't trying to upset anyone. We're just saying, hey, there's valuable like data here for you to check out. If you're interested, link in the description. And there's free guides there as well. It's a lot better. People do a lot better, but oftentimes they don't know that. So you have to kind of explain it in a nice way. I remember explaining this to my um, two writers who are also affiliates now. And when they first learned this, they, they hadn't ever converted. They'd never got an affiliate commission. And then that first month, I believe both of them got like nearly a hundred pounds in commission just from their very first time doing it, having been completely fresh to affiliate marketing. So they both did absolutely incredibly. And I'm so proud of, of all the affiliate marketers here on the site. So yeah, we have certain days where we do really well. We have certain days where we don't. These are just um, commissions. They aren't connected to anyone in particular. I'm not showing sensitive data, just showing a bit of behind the scenes like so. We are facing a little bit of an issue here because I was using Jetpack previously, but it looks like they now want to charge for uh, the same service that they were providing previously. So I'm not too sure on that. I might remove Jetpack and get something else. If anyone has any like good statistic pages, that'd be great. I'm finding rank math isn't as good because the very simple fact is we don't rely on SEO on this website whatsoever. So having an SEO plugin just isn't that valuable to us. At the end of the day, if people can't see these guides, um, when Google sees that they can't see various guides, they're going to say, oh, well, we can't actually check this, this blog at all. Um, we aren't going to show this on Google at all. And so a lot of these pages won't even appear on Google as a result. And that's fine because we don't really care about Google. Why would I waste my time trying to get Google traffic when they change the algorithm every other day? Uh, it's just a waste of time. I'd much rather spend my time making good videos for YouTube or TikTok or maybe even Instagram, Facebook and actually get decent traffic from those sources rather than dealing with crappy old Google who only really cares about the big guy and doesn't really care about the little guy. My goal with this website is to really try and get between 200 and 300 members per month. Ideally, when we get to that amount, I'm hoping that we can bring in like maybe a full time developer and maybe get the, the writers a more of a stable position in the business rather than just paying them per post that they write. We can instead bring them into the business, but I really need them to work for that and try and you know grow the business a bit more themselves and hopefully bring in more value so that we can get them to that point. But yeah, there was a, a, a minor update on my website. That's how everything's going. I hope everything's going well for you. Update me on your sites. As I say, I've got four other websites and they are doing terribly uh, because they rely on Google traffic. If I cared enough about them, I would completely focus entirely on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, any other traffic source than Google because there's no point wasting time on Google anymore as far as I'm concerned. That's my opinion. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. You do what's best for your website and only you know what is best for your website. All right, so I hope this video helped you and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. This is Theo Ramwell and you have a lovely day.